Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Michael Guevara, the Fishing Fanatic. And today's episode, I'm going to be doing a little bit of fly fishing. Now over on the other side of that bridge is a lake, and next to it is another little lake, uh, both easily walking distance, in which I took out the fly rod not too many days ago, and had just a blast catching a little bit of bass and a few panfish. So sit back, enjoy the video, and please stay tuned and watch out for my upcoming videos uh, coming in the near future. Thank you again, and have a good day. Goodbye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Michael Guevara. Again, the fishing fanatic. And I don't know if you can see the bend in my rod here, but I've got a fly rod, and I've got a bass down here, and it chased what I had. I don't know where it went down there, and it's going to be kind of tough to move it out from there because it may have gotten in, stuck in some weeds. There we go. Got a little bit of loose through there. And that's what happened. I lost her in some weeds. But that was nice for a while it lasted. So let me turn this off and try it again. Ladies and gentlemen, the nice thing about a fly rod is even as you'll see here, and hopefully you can see some of the bend on the fly rod there, even a little panfish can make for a nice little bite. So let's get this puppy up here. See it's a nice little fish. If you can see it there. I'll just let her go here. And we'll try and come out and show you some of the areas where I'm fishing. smaller fish will really give you a nice little fight and feel nice on the end of the line. Putting this on pause, cast off it. Okay ladies and gentlemen, the uh, wind picked up a little bit and hopefully you can see what my rod's doing here. I think I've got a bass on the end of this line. Whoa, yeah. I'm sure I've got one now. That ain't no panfish fighting there. Yeah, there it is. That really makes for some excitement on a fly rod. There she comes. There she comes. Okay. There you get to see her. Let me take my hat off. Good view of her. It's a nice looking little fish there. Nice looking little bass. You can see that little one inch minnow on its mouth that I was using there. Hopefully you can see that. So let me just release her and let her go. Now what's happened here lately, ladies and gentlemen, that's uh change the fishing dynamic for today is that the wind has picked up a little bit and believe it or not with the calmer conditions the fishing was a little bit tougher and I think that's partly because the fish can be a little bit more wary and a little bit more cautious about what they're going to get because they can see a little better but this way when it's a little bit uh, windier water a little bit more so things are not as clear so they're likely to uh, to try and go after what they perceive to be food a little easier being a little less cautious so I think that's what's happened here this afternoon at least that's my story and I'm sticking to it so let me try to get this back out there again. I don't know if you can see it, but I've caught another bass here. You can see it coming in, and again, this is on fly. A little bit smaller, but heck, all of these are fun. A fish is a fish. 
There's that nice little one right there. Let's just quickly let her go. Let's see what that looks like. Let her go. Drag at it again. Putting this on pause. 